Hello friends, today I'll show thermal analysis of multiple numbers of pin fins using SOLIDWORKS. Here five set of pin pins will be there with different materials and at one end we will be providing one heat source and the pins fins will be having a specific length. Let's get started. We're starting from modeling itself. We start from part. We are taking the right pin, normal to, we will draw one rectangle, let us find smart dimension to this one as 500 millimeter. and the thickness will be 75 millimeter inside this one we can make some holes of diameter 50 millimeter smart dimension let's provide dimension to 50 millimeter now the same thing we can make in both the sides by linear sketch pattern entities to be patterned select the object and the, with the gap of 100 mm we want to provide these things we want 5 numbers so right side 3 numbers done now again same thing we will do in the left hand side also linear sketch pattern and we want in the opposite direction so we'll change the direction and the gap will be 100 millimeter and we want three numbers done drawing is complete so exit from the sketch select that object and features extrude boss base we want extrusion of 20 millimeter you can check it is done so you can save it as base plate or base we can save this one as base only now to start the second part inside this one you have to put some fins start again new part From right pen normal to sketch circle let's why smart dimension this one as 50 millimeter exit from the sketch select the sketch again and features extrude boss base and extrusion depth we want to be thousand millimeter and serve it save by the name of pin fin next one we have to start assembly start assembly select the base and pin fin together the base is fixed and this one is floating okay so we have to assemble it right now so assembly met this part should be meeting with this hole green check and finally this face should be meeting with this face done now the same thing we will do by using linear pattern so we need not do these things again and again by linear pattern we can make it we want linear component pattern a component to be pattern so select that object you 
then we want direction along this line but it is showing these reverse direction so we have to change the direction done again check is assembled already now we have to go for analysis we will start from simulation new study we want thermal analysis green check now we have to provide some material for this different fin fins that material can be specified from parts itself we are having total five pin pins and one base let's make the base as made up of ductile iron apply close ductile iron is provided to this one next one for pin fin one apply it material we'll select this one as aluminium so aluminium alloys and we'll take one zero six zero alloy which is having thermal conductivity equals to 200 watt per meter degree kelvin okay apply and close aluminum is applied to the first fin fin second one will select apply edit material second one will be composed of brass so we we'll select copper alloys and it will be brass apply for brass thermal conductivity 110 watt per meter degree kelvin apply and close so brass is provided apply and close then third one will apply apply edit material third one will take copper only so we'll take copper alloys and from here we'll take copper apply close third one is applied fourth one will take apply it material let's take this material as silver other metals we will take this one as pure silver which is having thermal connectivity very high in the range of 400 watt per meter degree kelvin apply close and the last one will take this one as nickel apply edit material so we'll take other metals we'll take nickel for this one apply close so we have taken five different fin pins and one base base is made up of ductile iron and the pins from left to right are having material as aluminum alloys brass copper pure silver and nickel right where these are having different thermal conductivities so what we'll do is from the left side we have to provide one heat source that means we are putting same heat to all the fin fins and it will be conducted through these fins by the same time convective heat transfer will be also there and finally we will find out the temperature distribution through all these spin fins and we will plot them separately okay next one we have to apply these thermal loads we have to provide a heat source at the base so we will select heat power select the base and it will be providing heat at a rate of 200 joules per second it will be that means 200 watt it will be providing heat okay green check next one we have to apply convective heat transfer coefficient for better graphs we can make a splitted lines for all these fin fins right we'll take it right now so open any one of the fin fins Again, now we'll take is passing the center of this one so if we draw a line that should be having 
25 minutes away from this pen right so we make a plane the first geometry plane from here 25 millimeter away we have to make another plane let's make this one in the reverse direction okay done pen normal to we have to draw one line from here sketch line let's take a straight line we went the line features curve split line the line is already selected now we have to select that curve green check split line is done right you can see the split line is done okay this part we can save it and that will be updated in the assembly also let's close it it is updated in the assembly okay so along this line we will plot the temperature distribution okay right now we have to apply this thermal load that means convective heat transfer coefficient to be applied right so what you have to do is you have to go back next thermal load to be applied so convection let's consider convective heat transfer coefficient equal to 30 watt per meter square degree kelvin and ambient temperature will be 30 degree centigrade that will be 30 plus 270.05 that means 303.05 degree kelvin we select the surfaces let's select the surface one by one And the down part also will be selected and even the front part also needs to be selected okay it's done green check next word to mesh and run mesh and run you got the results like you can see the temperature distribution through the different pin fins better instead of this kelvin scale we can change it to degree centigrade edit definition can change the scale from Kelvin to degree centigrade and also by the same time we can change the options to the pattern we have to change it pattern of temperature from Kelvin to degree centigrade let's make it instead of scientific we are going to make it general can check you can see the maximum temperature is 70 degrees 70.5 degree centigrade and minimum is 29.9 degree centigrade okay right now we want to plot these things so for plotting what you have to do is we have to use that probe and select any specific line on a selected entities suppose we select this line update this temperatures with respect to distance we can see the graph also here it is that at the beginning temperature was 60 degree centigrade and it has fallen to 31.6 degree centigrade for the first case right can save this one in the form of excel also let's save it it will be saved as by the name of aluminium suppose we're taking this one as aluminium 
save it green check now for the next one or to plot it right so again use prob on selected entities select that line and update it this is providing temperature along the different distances let's plot it it is showing that it started with 60 degrees centigrade and it has fallen to 30.357 right you can save this part next one for the copper one we'll see the temperature distribution again probe on selected entities we have to select that line update the entities and let's plot it this is for copper you can see it has the temperature at the beginning it was less it was in the range of 55.31 degrees centigrade and finally it has come down to 34.285 degrees centigrade okay you can save this part again now the fourth one that is silver we have to take the temperature distribution of silver so probe On selected entities we have to select that line update the values and let's take the graph here in this case also the temperature started from 56 degrees centigrade and the final temperature at the extreme end equal to 34.55 degrees centigrade right so let's save this part and finally the nickel one so starting from probe select that line update the values and you can check the graph it has started from 64.41 degree centigrade and it has finished to 30.044 degree centigrade okay done so this one also will save okay done so from this excel data we can go for detailed analysis we can combine all these uh, graphs in a single plot and compare the different values in a detailed way okay and this is all about today's thermal analysis this is a very basic analysis if you like this video please subscribe and share and if you have any kind of doubts please write to me thank you so much for watching this video thank you again bye